All right, by the end of this video, you would have learned how to set up your project for image recognition using AR Foundation. So let's get started. Hey, what's up? It's Asher here from Immersive Insiders. And on this channel, we help you become professional XR developers and designer. In today's video, we are going to learn about a cool feature of AR Foundation, which is image tracking. Now, this video is going to be, be broken up into three sections. In the first section, we'll learn about how to set up our scene for image tracking. In the second section, we'll see about its capabilities. And in the third one, we'll discuss the best practices. So let's begin. So in the previous video, we saw how to set up our Unity project for AR development and we set up our scene for AR deployment as well. We're going to continue with the same scene for image tracking. So to enable image tracking, you need to select AR session origin and add a component that's called as AR track manager. Now this component has three parameters which we need to enter and input. The first one is a serialized library. So we need to create a serialized library of images and then add that into this parameter. So to create that, you can right click on project window, click on create, then select XR and select reference image library. We'll call it as uh, track images. So right now we're going to add a single image. So I've already downloaded the image of earth. Let me quickly get it here into my unity project. There we go. So I've added, I've imported the earth image into my project. Now the next thing to do is to click on the tracked images that we just created drag and drop this in here you can give it a name i'd like to keep it as earth itself we can specify the size i would like to have it to be something like uh, 30 millimeter plus 30 millimeter and then you can select air session origin and drag and drop this in here so we have uh, initialized the first parameter now the second one is max number of moving images we're going to keep this project really simple. We are not going to have any moving images as such. So we'll keep it at zero. Next, it needs a tracked image prefab. So let us create a prefab. We already have a cube here. So I'll just quickly reset its rotation back to zero. Its position back to zero. All right. Now this cube, I'll drag and drop it inside my project window. And that becomes a prefab. Let us get rid of the cube from the hierarchy. Now we'll select the air session origin and drag and drop the prefab in here. And that's it. Uh, we have set up our scene for image tracking. Let's quickly test it out. So you can go to file, uh, click on build settings, click on build and run. We'll call this as uh, test two and then save it. And I'll see you once it's done building. Now let us quickly test the app. So here I have my earth image. If I scan it, there we go. The cube is placed exactly on top of it. So if I go inside here, you can see the earth and it's tracking the image and placing the object on top of that. So that was really simple, right? Now, if you're wondering how to track two images or do something when the tracked images are changed, then don't worry about it. I'll be covering that at the end. So if you feel that these videos have helped you, then please feel free to leave a like and uh, subscribe to this channel. It really shows us that we can produce more videos just for you. All right, we'll move on to the next section wherein we talk about the capabilities of image tracking. So the image tracking is done with the help of AR core on your Android device. Now this is the same plugin that we use along with AR foundation. So the AR core has the capability to track around 20 images simultaneously. So it'll be able to track 20 different images, not the multiple instance of the same image. Then uh, when it comes to the image database, we can uh, have any number of uh, image database and each database can hold around thousand images. The another capability of AR core is that it has estimation, size estimation. So if you have not mentioned the size of the image, it can estimate the size and it will keep improving its estimate over time. Then AR core has the uh, capability to respond and track to images. So for example, if the image is moving, then this has the capability to move the tracked game object along with it as well. So when it comes to choosing an image for image tracking, there are certain best practices that we can follow. The first one would be that the image has to be at least 300 cross 300 pixel and of uh, PNG or JPEG format. We need to avoid having images with repeated pattern because uh, they will not get detected well and it could 
hinder in tracking as well. Now we need to avoid images that are heavily compressed because that can interfere with uh, picking up the feature points. And then also we need to avoid images that contain large number of geometric features or two less number of geometric features, something like barcode or something like artistic lines. So these images do not get detected well. And one more thing that you can keep in mind is that uh, the color information is not taken. So it really does not matter if you have an image with color or the same image with grayscale, it's still going to track the same way. All right, as promised, it's time for the bonus wherein we'll teach you how to use multiple images and do something when the tracked images are changed. By the way, we have a free ebook in the description which talks about the biggest mistakes you could make as an aspiring XR developer. Now this will have a huge advantage over others. So do check it out. So the first thing to do here would be to select the air tracked image and click on add image. We'll add an image before that we'll have to import it into unity project. So let me drag and drop this in here. It's an image of an elephant and then select air tracked image man images. Let me drag and drop it here. I'm not going to specify the size, I'm going to leave it as it is. All right, so next we need to write a script uh, which will take the air tracked image manager and use its API calls to uh, subscribe to the events when the images have changed. So to do that, you can right click in the project window, go to create and create a new C sharp script. We'll call it as tracked image example and you can double click to open it and I'll see you in Visual Studio. So here we are in Visual Studio. Let us get rid of this code here that will not be using and add the library that we'll be requiring, which is using unity engine.xr.ar foundation. Next, we'll declare a variable which can store the component of uh, AR tracked image manager. So that's going to be a uh, private AR tracked image manager and we'll call it as AR tracked image manager. Let me change the name here, variable name little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. So now we need to get the component and store it inside this variable, right? So we'll do it in the awake function. So private void awake, we want to take the variable AR tracked manager equal to, we want to find the object of type, which is going to be again the AR tracked image manager. All right, so now once we have the uh, component with us, we can use its API call and uh, subscribe to its event. So on enable, so on enable, we will take here track manager dot, uh, which is the event on images changed, manager dot track images changed plus equal to on image There we go. So we have subscribed uh, to the track images change event. Now, once we subscribe, we want to unsubscribe as well. So that's going to be on disable. So on disable, I'm going to copy the same code, paste it here, and it is going to be minus equal to. Now, next we need to create a method. So we don't have to do it manually. All you can do is uh, right click on this or press and hold control plus dot. And then you can select the first one, which says generate the method for that. So it'll automatically generate its private void on image changed. Here tracked images changed event arc. I know that's a very big parameter to have, but it is required. And OBJ is the variable name once again. So on images changed, what do you want to do? We want to go through all that. So for each variable, we're going to call it as tracked image in obj then here we'll say do something okay so when do we want to do something if you click on if you type a dot here you can see that you can do it when image is either added removed or updated so it's up to you for now we'll stick to add it so that's it so you can save the code so what this code basically does is it finds the air this component air track image manager once it finds it subscribe to its tracked image changed uh, event. So when that event is called this particular method on image change is called and when on image change is called if the image is added then it will do something and if it is removed then you will have to change this and you can do something. So you can save the script and go back into unity. 
you can select AR session origin. We'll wait for the script to load and I think that's done. And then you can drag and drop the script over here. And that's it. So if you feel that having image tracking and placing an object on it is boring, then you definitely need to check out this video wherein you'll be having a plane detection. And once you have detected the plane, then you can tap anywhere and that's where the object is placed. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.